Hi, in this video I'm gonna share with you my top 5 Wi-Fi 6 wireless routers. If you live in a medium to large house and you have many wireless devices to connect to the network, maybe some smart home devices, some personal devices and some streaming devices and those devices are not necessarily the most high end, then you probably need a very good Wi-Fi 6 wireless router and this video is for you. Now if you don't have as many devices to connect and maybe live in a smaller house then you should watch the previous video. Before I start I just need to quickly say that definitely check out the video description because it's gonna have the most updated information and prices of the wireless routers that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So definitely check out the video description as well. Number 5 on my list is the ASUS RT-AX86U Pro. This is a dual band Wi-Fi 6 router. If you are a follower of this channel, you might know that I have many videos talking about this particular router. In fact, 3 years ago when I was making a similar video and doing research to find the best wireless router in 2021, the RT-AX86U became number 1 and I bought it and still use it problem free to this day which is awesome this actually showed me if i do proper research before buying anything there is a good chance that i'm going to buy something really good that's why i decided to do this video again this year in 2024 and hopefully in the upcoming years as well now this one though is the pro version so it has even more powerful processor 2 gigahertz quad core which is great it has four LAN ports that are one gigabits per second one WAN port which is again one gigabits per second and a multi gig port up to 2.5 gigabits per second which can be configured as LAN or WAN there are also two USB ports it has three external and one internal antennas the theoretical Wi-Fi speed is up to 5700 megabits per second. It comes with great ASUS features such as many VPN server and client options, advanced quality of service, advanced security called AI protection, and many different operation modes. ASUS WRT which is the firmware for ASUS wireless routers comes with tons of features which is great. On top of that this one even supports ASUS WRT Merlin which is a third party firmware for certain ASUS wireless routers that comes with even more advanced features. Currently this is around $208 on Amazon. Now you might be wondering if this is such a great router, why is it number 5 and not higher? That's a fair point and I'll get to that at the end of this video. Number 4 on my list is the ASUS ROG Rapture GTAX6000. This is again a dual band Wi-Fi 6 router. This is basically a little bit better than the AX86U Pro both in the Wi-Fi department and the physical ports department. The Wi-Fi speed is now up to 6 gigabits per second. It also has dual multi-gig ports rather than one, which can come in handy. Other than that and as far as the features go, it is very similar to the RTAX86 u pro you can also install asus wrt merlin on this one it is currently around 250 dollars Number 3 on the list is the TP-Link Archer GX90. This one is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 wireless router with one 2.4 GHz band and two 5 GHz bands. It has eight detachable antennas and a 1.5 GHz quad-core processor. The processor is not as fast as the two ASUS routers, but Wi-Fi is overall better because of that extra band. The Wi-Fi speed is up to 6600 megabits per second. It has three LAN ports that are 1 gigabits per second, another one that could be configured as LAN or WAN, and a 2.4 gigabits per second port that is also configurable as LAN or WAN. There are also two USB ports. Now as far as features are concerned, it has great features, probably more than what an average household needs. However, when compared to ASUS, it looks like there are a bit fewer options available here. For example, even though there is VPN client and server support, it lacks support for IPsec and WireGuard VPN. Or as far as the operation modes, it can only be a wireless router, an access point, or participate in one mesh, which is TP-Link's mesh network. Now that being said, it 
it is priced at about $200 which makes it the least expensive one so far which is great for a tri-band wireless router. Number 2 is again another TP-Link, the Archer AX11000. This one is also tri-band but significantly faster than the previous one because its theoretical Wi-Fi speed is up to 11 gigabits per second. The processor is also more powerful being a 1.8 gigahertz quad-core processor. There are even more ports available with one 2.5 gigabits per second WAN port and eight 1 gigabits per second LAN ports. One of the USB ports is USB type C. The price is currently around $342, making it much more expensive compared to the previous one. So, whether this price is worth it or not depends on whether this extra power and speed are necessary for the network or not. Personally, I think considering everything, it's a bit too expensive. To know why, we have to move on to the number one on my list which is the ASUS ROG Rapture GTAX 11000 Pro. Like the previous TP-Link, it is also tri-band with a Wi-Fi speed of up to 11 gigabits per second, but it outperforms it in nearly every aspect. It has a 2 GHz quad-core processor, a 10 gigabits per second WAN or LAN port, and comes with ASUS features that are generally superior to those of TP-Links. Additionally, I can even install ASUS WRT Merlin for more advanced features. Currently priced at around $350, it is only a few dollars more expensive than the TP-Link, making it a better bang for the buck. Therefore, it takes the number one spot on my list. Now, with that being said, the order of the wireless routers in this video could vary depending on your requirements. I mean, if somebody doesn't need the third band, they don't necessarily need to buy a tri-band router. The third band comes in handy if, for example, you want to participate in a mesh network, use it as a repeater, or simply want to have two different 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks. Perhaps one for all the personal devices and another for a gaming laptop to ensure Sure that this network isn't shared with other devices and maintains excellent quality. Other than that, the third band is not necessarily needed and it is just another extra feature that we don't use, making it more expensive and consuming more electricity. For instance, both number four and five were excellent wireless routers if a dual band router is enough for my network. Alright, that was pretty much it. That was my top 5 Wi-Fi 6 wireless routers and I hope you liked it. Hit that like button if you did and let me know in the comments below if you actually own any of those wireless routers. I'm interested to know your experience. Or maybe if you have a different wireless router and you're happy with it and you want to add it to the list, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you're in the market for an even more high-end wireless router, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell notification for the upcoming videos. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.